In 2005, Irkett and Karl Storz began a collaboration to create an interventional endoscopic platform to enable complex endoluminal and transluminal surgery, named the Anubiscope. Experimental work focused on per-oral transluminal and intraluminal surgery on animals and cadaver models. Here we show the first transvaginal cholecystectomy performed with this endoscopic platform. Once approved for clinical use, the platform was used to perform a transvaginal cholecystectomy for symptomatic and complicated cholelithiasis. And a general anesthesia and exploratory laparoscopy was performed via 5 mm umbilical trocar to assess the feasibility of cholecystectomy. Transvaginal access was obtained under laparoscopic control via 2 cm posterior colpotomy. The anubiscope consists of a flexible 110 cm long four way articulating endoscope with a 16 mm articulating vertebrae section and an 18 mm distal tip. The distal head, shaped like a trocar, incorporates two opposing movable arms with two per 4.2 mm working channels and a central 3.4 mm channel. The elements of Kellogg's triangle were clearly identified and dissected with a two-hands technique, bringing surgical triangulation proficiency at the tip of the scope, thus reproducing a surgical modus operandi. Excellent visualization of the cystic duct and artery and a critical view of safety was achieved with the assistance of an internal retractor. The cystic duct and artery were clipped with a laparoscopic 5 mm clip applier and divided.
the gallbladder was then dissected using the two-way articulation instruments and placed in a specimen retrieval bag prior to removal through the vagina. The operative field was examined for hemostasis and any inadvertent organ injury was ruled out. Cholecystectomy was successfully accomplished in 60 minutes using the anubiscope. The patient was discharged on postoperative day 2 and is doing well at the 6 months follow-up. The anubiscope has demonstrated its potential in bringing surgical concept into the lumen of hollow organs and beyond by overcoming significant limitations of current flexible endoscopes.